Today is a good day because we made it to progress bit number 20. Let's go, guys. But here's my reward from my 29th beginner clue scroll. Why 29, you may ask? Well, I'll put it this way. Yes, I'm level 91 in game, but in real life, I'm level 29. I went back to the swamps in Lumbridge and started training my prayer and my defense level on giant frogs. I got a defense level of 78. The giant key here is a special one and I'll tell you why in a bit. For now, here is 62 fishing for you guys. I can now fish monkfish if I was a P2P player though, that is. I remember back in the day, I used to bring a tinderbox on logs for a fire whenever I went to fish lobsters at Karamja, but I don't mind the walk to the cooking range here in Port Sirem. So this is where I usually come to cook my lobsters. It's been way too long since I trained my cooking level. 70 cooking is a long-term goal of mine for those new viewers out there. All right guys, remember when I said that this giant key is a special one? Well, that drop right there should explain it. To me, a rune two-handed sword is almost as good as getting a hill giant club. But here is my reward from the beginner clue scroll drop from Olbor. And here is 55 prayer, not gonna lie, 55 prayer for F2P UIM account is a pretty good milestone. Alright, for the moment you've all been patient for and also waiting for, let's get right into some rune crafting now. Like every other player in game, I had to complete the quest rune mysteries first. Completing this quest didn't take me very long. With the quest completed now, let's go get some room crafting levels. Oh, and for those who may ask, or maybe not, I could very well use a tiara here, but I don't really see the point because I'm not saving an inventory slot at all when I take my mask off. Now that I have a level 5 in rune crafting, I can now use the water altar, but I do need to get the water talisman first. Getting my rune crafting level to level 9 didn't take me very long. I can now start rune crafting earth runes in game. And here's 14 rune crafting, which unlocks the fire runes. Because I ran low on Law Runes, I came to Ankus for those Law Rune drops. Law Runes do help me to level up my rune crafting, that's why I'm here. I also picked up the noted Rune Essence drops as well as the noted Mithra Ores for some more smithing XP. I killed about 207 Ankus to get this loot. And by the way, I also decided to high oak my Rune 2 Hand Sword. I know I just got it, but I can always go back to Obor and try my luck again. And we're finally done rune crafting for this progress video anyways. I do plan on training more in the near future. I wouldn't mind rune crafting myself a good 1000 body runes and then using them for some magic XP. But because this progress video is coming to an end, I do want to quickly say that this progress vid was originally 10 minutes long, but it wasn't my commentary that made it short again. It was my editing. Whenever I make these progress videos, I tend to do a first edit and then a final edit before I upload. So some of my gameplay was cut out like me smithing mithril square shields and then selling them in Felidor. If you do want to see me upload a video where I don't do a final edit and just do one edit, let me know in the comment section below or give me a thumbs down. No, I'm kidding, not a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching and you all take care. As always, I'll see you all in the next one.